my channel. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today I am finally going to be able to unbox a Easy Whim Diamond Painting Club box because I finally got one. So the last box that you saw me unbox um, was from my February box which took a long time to get here. And if you want to watch my past unboxings of this subscription club you can go to the link up in the eye which will be up there <laughs> and there's a playlist of all my previous boxes that I've received from them so um, there's already a couple of things that I've noticed about this box that are as different from the previous boxes okay first of all here is the box and I just took off the outer wrapping. They did not put foam around it this time, and you can tell. It's been pretty beat up. This is my May box. Um, I have not received my April box yet, so they skipped March and they skipped June to try and catch up. But um, seeing that this is May, April's is probably still on a boat because they said they did have to send some over the you know through the water hopefully it will be dry when it gets here okay but yes it is pretty beat up i'm not thrilled with the box because i love using these boxes they're nice and sturdy boxes but the way this one looks it's it's seen better days so i'm not really happy about that change i do have another box that um came and you'll have to watch my next unboxing because I'm not going to do both of these in the same video. Um, come to find out, it's my July box. So I got them, I got this yesterday. So I got my May box yesterday and I got my July box today. And their April is nowhere to be seen. So at least I only have one out there still left to be received. So let's go ahead and unbox this and then um we'll see what they got okay all right so let's get this lid off here here is my letter and um, it says okay i'm not gonna look because it tells me what's in the box and so you can kind of get a peek and yeah this box i'm not gonna be able to use it unless i tape it up because it's actually broken very sad. I did start reading it and, well, actually, this is not what I was reading. I'll leave this up here because you can't really see what's in here. It's just drills. Um, okay, well, put it in my lap because it's kind of in the way. Okay, it looks like we've got a creative LED diamond painting, new experience. It's an owl and it's going to be one of those night lights, which... Uh, I got one of these, but it wasn't a diamond painting. It was a 3D type of thing, and I gave it to my daughter. It was Tinkerbell, because she's doing my granddaughter's nursery in Tinkerbell, so that was pretty cool. All right, so this is an acrylic piece, and it was in there, and the cover, oh my gosh, it's actually removing... It's removing the adhesive off of... Oh, my fingernails are horrible. Look at that. The adhesive is coming up with... I think they may have put it on backwards because you can get them uh, on the wrong direction. Someone may not have known what they were doing. Because... I mean, it's still a little sticky, but look at all the glue on here. Look at all that glue that came off. Let's see. It's hardly sticky at all, but this other side, if you stick it down. Well, it's not sticking like the other side did. Man, that's kind of disappointing. And it's hardly sticky at all now. Well, it really doesn't do any good to contact customer service either because 
it takes forever for them to get back to you and then it takes forever for them to ship something to you and then even longer to receive it. So I'll probably have to be, I'll have to put some Aileen's Tacket on here or some of the Diamond Dots adhesive because this side is not, the diamonds are not going to stick to it. That is a big disappointment right there. All right, so it's got the USB plug, it's got the rhinestones for it, basic tray, and here's the base. So you can either put batteries in it or plug it in. They charge at least $20 for one of these things. It looks like it takes... God, that looks like C batteries. Does it even say on here? And there's just the power button. The one I, I got from, um, for my daughter was uh, like $25, I think. And it had uh, Bluetooth and everything. Uh, no instructions. It doesn't tell you what kind of batteries. It's just... Yeah. A nice idea, but it kind of bombed with the fact that the sticky has come off of it and there's no instructions. I can't tell the size of these batteries. I might have to go to the website just to check, but it, no, they could be double A. They might be, they might be double A. Let's see the how much room is in there for each one. So yeah, I'm thinking it's probably double A. But I don't have anything higher than double A, so if it takes something more than that, I'm not sure I even want to go out and buy any to just to test it to see. But I might have to just to check it out. All right, so there's that. Next thing, I'm going to just try and pull something out from in here. Alright, looks like we've got some scratch art. It's got two scratch postcards. And that's what I saw in the letter. I saw it said, do you like to scratch? So, it would be really cool if I get April got April's box tomorrow. Because if that's the case, then I could post April's then May's, then July's. I like to keep them in order, but that may not be possible. All right, there. Let's see what this is. It looks like it's gonna be, um, well, it actually gives you instructions. <laughs> Scratch off the gray color, then multiple colors show up. Ta-da! You can make your own unique postcard. Okay. Scratch postcard series. Okay. The black coated side besides gray lines can be scratched off. Uh, tuned colorful. Turned colorful. Do not put residue into your mouth or use them for other purposes. Okay. Yeah, I know how to scratch art. Just see what these are. I don't know if this is the image or if there's two of the same image or what. All right. So yeah, that is the postcard. Is the picture that showed on the front. This isn't a real elaborate one. There's just very little detail to it. And the back is the postcards where you write address and your little message to whoever, whomever. And I don't know if, let's see if there's two different ones or if they're both the same card. It's really warm in here. I've got my fan on super low so it doesn't drown out the video. Oh, yeah, they're two different. Oh, wait a minute. They sent me three. I don't know. I think they, there's four of them. Uh, it says two, two on here. Or unless that's just the series number two, must be because, yeah, it does show four, four things. It shows that you get four buildings, 
it's just confusing because it says two on the front. So I thought I was only going to be getting two scratch pads, scratch art. So that's interesting. Um, this, I know this is New York and I think this one might be Moscow and this one. So not sure. Ireland, maybe does it, it just says building one, two, three, and four. And there's supposed to be a, a stylus, a wood stylus. Let's see. In there. there is no stylus in here. Good thing I have my own scratch tools. But there is no stylus. No, no, no stylus. Mark that up for another disappointment. And I think this might be uh, Brazil or... Rio. I don't know. I'm really bad at geography. So that's, these are nice, but I don't see how they would work for postcards because it's scratch art. If you scratch what you need to scratch and you do it very gently and, and gingerly, and then you go and stick it in the mail to somebody, guess what? The machine itself is going to ruin it. So having a scratch art postcard is pointless. I'm not going to be using them as postcards because unless you stick it in an envelope, but even then I'm afraid that the machines would rub off part of the stuff. So yeah, it says it has contents, postcards, four sheets, one wood drawing stylus. Eh, no wooden stylus. All right. So that's number two. I don't need the bags. And um, what else do we have in here? Okay. Figure out what this is. It's a diamond painting something. Some sort. I don't know what this is. It just feels like it's a leathery... Piece of oval, a, a football, diamond painted football. What what is this supposed to be? It's just, it's just it's just a piece of like faux leather. I'm sure it's not real leather. There's no zipper or pocket or like there's no. Well, there's some, two little marks here. So let's see. There's no instructions. But we've got rhinestones, huge special shaped gems, quite a few different pretty ones in there. Toolkit. Okay. Maybe this will tell me what it is. Sure, if I looked at the letter, it would tell me, but uh, maybe it's supposed to be a bag or it's a really big keychain. <laughs> I'm guessing maybe you fold it together afterwards and then you clip it with these things. I, I am. I'm going to have to look at this letter. Okay, got the scratch. Uh, okay, it's a small flat pack into a beautiful 3D puzzle unicorn. No, that's something else. Uh, enjoy decorating your home with even more sparkly bedazzled bling. Your new wall pendant is a hanging diamond painting that's sure to be enjoyed for many years. So that's what it is. It's a wall pendant. So these just clip on, oh, really hard to grasp, clip on in these spots right here, how they've got the blank spots on the sides right there, and then right there. So you clip these little things on there, and they have a little hole at the end where you use this to clip on to one side, and then you hang the chain on a wall. So that'll be interesting.
uh, it's one of those things that won't take too long because it's, yeah, one of these, it won't take me long to do one of something like this, but there are an awful lot of gems. So who knows? I have a lot of projects going right now that I really want to get done. So I'm working on those exclusively until I get them done. But when I like to grab something to do in between projects, this, something like this is perfect. It's just interesting because I've never seen a wall pendant made out of this kind of material. You can see it's kind of like, I mean, it's like faux leather and then there's just some kind of residue all over it, but okay, now we know what that is. And um, because I kind of read what the other thing is, I think it's uh, something to do with a unicorn flat pack unicorns of some sort so let's get this put there and then we'll get this last thing out it's underneath and then we'll look at the diamond paintings all right so it's another one of these uh wooden 3d we um kind of puzzle yeah they call it a puzzle um We did the little reindeer and we put it with our little Christmas scenery thing that we have at Christmas time, obviously. And it was pretty fun uh, for Tesla and I to do that together. This is going to be on the same level as that, which, but it's bigger. And I would probably want to look it up to see about painting it because I think I'd want to paint it pink or something it doesn't look perfect white but it's and you know they always get it wrong because it's either a unicorn or it's a pegasus it's either got wings or it's got a horn but unicorns don't have wings and pegasus don't have horns so that's my two cents um but yeah we had fun with the last one. The only problem is the smaller pieces are very fragile. Uh, it did have extra pieces for those small ones. Thank goodness, because we did end up breaking one. I do also have a flamingo that I unboxed for my very first unboxing that I haven't done yet. So might practice on that one before doing this because I would really want this one to come out right. I wouldn't want it to come out um, with any broken spots or anything. I also had a Ferris wheel, which I gave that to my daughter, who then turned around and gave it to her dad. So, my first husband now has that. And now, we will look at the diamond paintings. I'm not sure, you know, I every month that I've gotten a diamond painting, my large 40 by 50 always come has come out damaged. So, let's just see which which ones they're going to be. This is not dragons and unicorns. It's actually, it looks like it's a Josephine wall image. If you can tell what it is. That's got a lot of confetti. And this one is a woman on a dragon. And this is a blue dragon. So I'm hoping the big one is this one because this has a lot of detail. And no, that's a 40 by 30. So that is not going to come out very well. Let me guess. They put the one that has mostly blues as the 40. Yep, that's a 40 by 50. And then this one has got a lot of detail to it too. And it's a 30 by 40. I hate these printouts. They are never clear. I'm going to write them a long letter because this is ridiculous how it ha it's been happening every month. They, you know, charge me $65 for this box and look, you can't even read what those symbols are. It's like they need to get new printers or something because look at the image, you know, it's got streaks running through it and that, that is, that is un uncalled for. I mean, that is unacceptable. That's my word. All right, so here are the drills. This is the blue dragon. This one is the Josephine wall. And they do have the number on here. 
it's 35 colors. CTR 3428. Nope, actually that's this one. And then this is the Josephine Wall of the couple kissing. So I'm going to try to... I remove all the plastic off of them anyway. And uh, I think I'm thinking I'm going to replace them with the paper, the stuff, you know, parchment paper, because they're not going to, I don't like putting the strips on because they're going to have four to five strips on each one. But these colors don't seem very bright. I mean, that's supposed to be brown dragon in there, but I'm not super thrilled with these, this set. And this one doesn't have very many bright colors either. I mean, you'd think it would. But the one that's blue has probably every shade of blue available in the bag. So, there's that. One thing I can say is they have nice toolkits. Excuse my meat. Okay, I did get the uh, stylus for the scratcher. It was in the box. It was separate. So that goes to that. They do give you nice toolkits. Uh, let's see, there's a four place, a thin four placer, and a thin ten placer. Or is that seven? I think it's a seven. It's a ten. And they give you the white trays, which will fit into my nice tower that I just did a video for. These will fit into that one from Bella Art De Nicole. They give you a lot of wax, um, but then they give you the cheap tweezers and a squishy gripper and all of these all three kits are the same they have that same same stuff all right and then let's look at the diamond paintings we'll open it yeah so we don't want to go too long oh i have scissors right here use them. Okay. Tape. And then there's a foam roller in the middle. This has 35 colors on a 40 by 30. If I can get the image off their website, I'll put it up here on the screen. But I am pretty sure this is a Josephine Wall image. If you can see that. Yeah, it wants to focus on the table. It could be, it may not be, I don't know. But it looks like her style. So let's hope that there's no puckers, bubbles. Flip it over. Uh, maybe a little pucker there. Not sure. We'll just look here and take these off. Because I will not be using them on this canvas. Or I will and I'll just put them back on the way I do it. Well, there we go. And then we'll take off this one. So I, if you don't know, if you've never watched any of my videos in the past, but um, removing on canvases that are curled up like this and it's a double-sided adhesive like this adhesive is when you take the the um, cover off or you pull it back half and half you pull back half of it and then relay it and then you do the other half and, and relay it that takes the curl out of the diamond painting as you can see how it's curled down here but it's flattening up there once I take this one off it'll be flat all the way across and that makes it so much easier to store 
unless you like to roll them up and put them back in the in their um, boxes that they come in or whatever so yeah this is not gonna come out very clear I would be I'm really disappointed in this um, first of all it's not unicorn or dragon if there's a dragon in there it's hiding in her hair because there is no indication of a dragon Let's see if the picture we can because I can't see it very well from far back but no there's no yeah it's not there's no unicorns or fairies and dragons is what it's supposed to be maybe they consider this a fairy I don't like it. I mean, I'm, I don't like the fact that they gave such a complicated image in this size. I, yeah, not happy. Not happy about that. But, okay, let me, I'll just put this back on and then we will look at the next one. So I'll be right back so you don't have to watch me do this. All right. Our next one is also the a 40 by 30. It's the girl and the dragon. Like I said, if I can find this image on their website, I'll post it here. Now, when I go to find these on their website, it's not an easy task because these are not named. And I can't just search this canvas number because if you ever notice, all three of the canvases that I receive are in sequence by the number. See, 3428, and the other one was 32, uh, 3427. So, they, you can't look it up on their website going by that number. It does not work. But this is another one where it actually needed to have some, um, it's got detail to it, so it should have been in a, a larger size. So I do not have high hopes for this one either. I, uh, this month is a bust. And then we'll have to see what the other one, the July one looks like to determine if I'm going to continue the second year because August of 2019 was my very first box. So, uh, okay, I'm going to pull the first one off and then I'll flip it sideways, even though this one is a portrait, but that way it'll just help me to take this off easier. Or maybe I'll leave it this way. No, cause I don't want to get it on the table, I mean on my clothing. See, it's it's going over the edge of the table, and I don't want it to get on my shirt, stuck to it. But man, I just wish these things would come in better shape. I'm upset my box was broken because you know, I pay a lot of money, and I don't. I like the variety of the different crafts that are that come in it, but I mean, come on, those three D puzzle things they've sent them three times now they need to get a little bit more variety in it I mean the scratch art that's the first time they've done scratch art um, this one has 35 colors as well and as you can see you can see some detail let me see if I can go out a little bit all right So, I mean, it's kind of glary, but I don't think I'm going to get a lot of detail out of this one. They seem to put a lot of really dark colors, and that's what you can see with this, the charting here. But you can't really see. I mean, it's okay in here. You can, you can see the dragon, but the girl's face, it's not really, I don't know. The trident looks good. But her knee, like, the colors in her armor ma are, like, matching the background colors. So, 
I can tell you these are not going to be one of the first ones that I do. <laughs> so, yeah, lots of browns too. Very little color to it. There's some blue in there, but yeah, if I'm not excited about the coloring, I don't tend to want to work on it. So there's that one, and let me put this one away, and I'll be right back. We can look at that final diamond painting. All right, our final one. 40 by 50. And this is where I have to hold my breath because I have yet had good luck with having no bubbles or no puckers on this size of a canvas. I'm getting tired of having to try and contact them to send me a replacement canvas. Plus, I have to contact them constantly to send a digital copy of the key because I can't read it. Can't read those. I mean, tell me if you can read those symbols. Number 29, no clue. No, have any idea. Number 34 and 35 look to be the same exact symbol. Just different colors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is horrible. So. Wish me luck opening this up. I almost got the canvas there. Not like it would hurt it. <laughs> All right. Foam roller out. But this is the best. There's no foam roller in this one. Oh, I already took it out. This is the best looking picture out of all of them so far. Um, here's the thumbnail, but I'll put a bigger image up on the screen if I can find one right here. So this one has 45 colors. And I may, I, I'm going to actually put parchment paper over this one. Hopefully I have enough left. I've been using this same roll forever. It's only 25 square feet, but I've used it a lot. I haven't run out yet. It's the first one I bought too. Okay, I'm going to check for puckers real quick here. Puckers are on the back side, so... Oh, 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 okay, I don't see any puckers, so let's start getting this, pulling this cover off, so we can take a gander at it too. I am pleasantly surprised. First for everything, right? Look at those blues. That is so pretty. Okay, but this might be a problem because it's rolling up on itself. Crud. Okay. I have to do it this way. There we go. Let me get that off of there before it decides to stick through. All right. But I don't want to jinx myself, but at, up to this point, there are the canvas, these canvases have been in great condition compared to previous months. Um, I haven't seen any bubbles. I haven't seen puckers. I haven't seen anything bad. I, I'm just disappointed in the size of the image that they chose to do each image with. This one would have been fine as a 30 by 40. The other two should have both, they both should have been um, 40 by 50 minimum with how much detail they have. And this has very little detail. There's going to be a lot of color blocking here, but there's also, it's also got a lot of colors changes uh, because the background it's not solid it, you know here you can see the different color changes 
and even in this darker blue area over here. Um, even, I mean, there's sections with color blocking, but it it's not a lot because it's all mixed in here. Let me show you the drill field since I failed to show you on one of the others. Look at that. Okay, so the symbols are easy to read on the canvas. Uh, let's see the chart, the key. Yeah, the key is just as bad as the paper. I would have, I would need to lighten it and blow it up in order to see what they are. Because see, number eight looks like the pound symbol or hashtag. And number, I believe, or that was the other one. Oh, that was the other, um, and the other key that I was looking at. But these blues are so dark. Uh, the background of the key, you can't, you can't see the symbol. So yeah, that's what I'll probably have to do because I'm not going to wait for them to send me the digital copy because it takes forever. But you know, I could still ask them for it. But if I wanted to get to going on this right away, I would just lighten up the key. Or if that's something you are having an issue with. Now there's a tiny bit of, of uh, rivers going on down here at the bottom. I can tell because I can just lightly run my finger across because it looked like there was some river rivers or something going on here. So if I just lightly run my finger across and I can feel it raised, I'm trying to do it in the view, but yeah, I can't. Then, you know, I it's, but it's not something that actually probably even needs to be cut or fixed. So that is fine. All right. Uh, if you've never seen parchment paper being put onto a diamond painting before, I will do that really quick here. Uh, first, you're going to want to do is make sure your parchment paper is non-stick. Oven safe. Mine says that right here, non-stick. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And then you're going to want to check a section to make sure it's not going to stick and both sides are the same. This is very sticky. Both sides are fine. It doesn't matter which one I have up and which one I have down. So I'm going to do it in this direction. I am just going to lay my parchment paper here on the edge and run it across like that and then not put my box on the canvas. I've done that before and I almost did it again. And then run it down like so. A lot of them will have that little sharp edge to cut it off. This does have it, but I pulled the parchment paper a little too far out, so I don't want that much hanging off. I'll just cut it. I know you can't see what I'm doing down here. You have to pardon me and believe that that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll pull you out just a little bit. Alright, so trays want to come at me so then so that section is clear it's on there and you can just readjust it because I got a little air pocket between the parchment paper and the canvas pull it down and oh no I did it again all right I'm gonna use this box and push it and I keep touching the so there it's smooth there's a little bit of bubbles you just push them out it's not hard and then you put another piece next to it I like to overlap it a little bit so that just in case it's too small I don't want it to be too small so I will start right here it's not straight I got it I, I do need to have it straight so that it will end up in the right spot okay and then pull paper out and voila and I'll, I'll just trim the edges so that it's not hanging over because I hate that 
and then you still can't see me doing it. I'm just cutting the bottom. All right, and there we go. Parchment paper covered diamond painting. And here we go. So I recorded this ending once and I went to put all the video together and found out I didn't record it or something. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but hopefully this time it stays. So let me get, let me know what you think guys of this box for May and also what you think of the subscription altogether service that Easy Whim provides. Um, if you've never watched any of the other ones for comparison, please go watch and see what you think compared to those on what you would do. I uh, still have the July box to open and if things aren't improved from this one because I'm, I'm, I'm just not happy with their choices on sizing for the image because that's not right. I will also um, give them a letter, a long letter, you know, explaining my position and what I think about them choosing complicated pictures for smaller images uh, for, you know, not the first time. And two of them in one package, it's like they could have switched the image to around. At least one of them could have been in the correct size. That big blue dragon would have been fine as a 30 by 40. But I do, I, the video, yeah. The eye should pop up either there or there. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, watch a couple of those if you'd like and, or if you have subscribed and you've been getting it for a while, let me know what you thought of May's box compared to the previous ones, because I'm, I'm, it might've just been the choices I made that made this box so unworthy of my $65, but also, uh, the, the, the owl light thing that would have been wonderful had it been, uh, you know, made correctly with the adhesive. So yeah, leave your, your comments down below. I'd really like to hear from you and on your way down, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet, um, I would love it if you could subscribe to me and after you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell because that will notify you when I do put up new videos and when I go live. So yeah, let me know down below and I will see you guys in my next video. And that may possibly be my July unboxing, um, for the subscription, but until then have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. So take care everyone. Bye.